Hi there. So, my four favorite film cameras. I just wanted to make this video just because um, I wanted to share sort of my journey with film photography and the diversion I went on with digital and uh, why I'm back to film and that kind of thing and the four cameras that really out of the many I, I really like the most. So, um, so first and foremost, I came back to film because I felt more passionate about it. I thought film sort of creates image in a sort of classic way. I love the way you can take some black and white, take a picture, and it could have been taken any time over the last 20 years, 30 years, even 40 years. Sometimes I've got pictures from India in black and white, and you can't really put a time on when they were taken. And I think that's really great. And I think the look of film is just classic. And that makes me want to take pictures more. I also have a really nice digital DSLR and I just don't feel motivated to sort of take it out as much for some reason, even though I've got a few lenses and it's very capable. And of course I've got the equipment. It's not going to cost me any more money with the images, like I, you know, the money I have to pay for uh, processing and stuff. So um, I took it to Mexico about a year ago, but um, because it was practical, because I didn't want to deal with Mexican x-ray machines and things like that. So it, it worked in a practical sense. But in terms of um, taking pictures that I like and I want to keep and I want to share with people, I'm still into film. So after using film cameras since I was a teenager, I probably used around 25 film cameras now. I actually owned them. I've probably used more than that. But I've actually owned around 25 film cameras. And these are the four that have become my favorites in, in the, what I'm using now. I do have a couple others that I use, but these are the ones that get most film through them. So, first and foremost, I love my Lomo LCA because I just like the pictures that come out of it. It's easy to use, zone focusing, and 32mm lens. It's very versatile, and I love the, the way that it just renders images. And it's also very, can be used experimentally because it's got a very um, long shutter speed if, if you need it. The next one, my current new favorite, is the Olympus Trip. And I love it because it has a 40 millimeter lens that renders the scene very naturally because it's not wide or telephoto in any way. And also the exposure system, which is fully automatic and solar powered, no, it doesn't need batteries. It also renders the light, the scene in front of you very naturalistically, like in a way that I've kind of, I've seen before, but it I don't know, it just works so well, and the pictures look so close to how I remember taking them with this camera. So I just love it for that, and it's great to use. It's well-built. It's just a classic camera. There's a reason why this has become a cult camera. It's awesome. And there's a reason why this has become a cult camera too, because it's also awesome and also brilliant. This one, the LCA, is fantastic for street photography. They, they both are, but... This one in particular, because it's just a, a dinky little thing, but it, it's great. Um, the other camera that I really love and sort of got me back into film photography, to be quite honest, is the Canon TX. And it's basically just one of the versions, one of the many versions of a fully manual SLR. It has a built-in meter, which is a match needle, very old-fashioned kind of system but very reliable, it works great. You throw a 50 mil lens on there or whatever lens and just go and take pictures and enjoy it. And it doesn't change, you don't turn your head for a second and all the settings have changed. Like in a modern camera where everything's continually um, re-metering everything and the exposure system is just like a computer that never stops. Once you've put it, the settings into a camera like this, they don't change, and that's very refreshing to me. I'm making the picture. I'm not just operating a sort of computer with a lens on it. And that's the other thing I like about film photography. It just feels organic and as though I'm making the pictures, like I said, instead of you know just operating a machine or something like that. And then the other camera that I'm using a lot, and I absolutely love, is my Leica M6. Um, obviously this costs more than all these cameras put together and then some and I've got a Voigtlander lens on it and I just love this to bits um, again it's fully manual 
And my wife jokes, it takes me forever to do a shot sometimes, but, but that's okay. Again, I'm making the shot. I'm not sort of hanging on the back of the camera and it just does whatever it wants and I just hope for the best. You know, I'm controlling it. And the operation of this camera is beautiful. It's just a nice, slick camera to use. It's very good quality and it's just a joy to use and it makes me want to go out and take pictures. And I really like the Voigtlander 35 1.4 as well because it's just incredibly versatile, incredibly ergonomic and and very small for a 1.4 lens. So again, it make, just makes me want to use it because it's so well designed and good quality and ergonomically and tactile sort of lens. Great. So there are my four favorite cameras right now in the world. Um, I have one or two more that I didn't bring because I'm not using them as much. I have a beautiful Yashica C TLR, which is medium format, and I do love to use it, but I'm not using it that often. I guess I'm a 35 millimeter guy, and these are my picks for right now. So um, I think basically the reason why I like fully manual cameras or simplistic cameras like this is that I want the film experience to be quite different from the digital experience. And I want to make it as different as it can be. So cameras that are very, very tactile and controllable rather than automatic and, you know, full of bells and whistles are just a lot more attractive to me right now. Okay, thanks for watching.